Hi and welcome to this video which will show you how to install SPSS 21 for Mac. For this demonstration we're using version 10.7 Lion and this also works with 10.6 Snow Leopard. If you're using 10.8 Mountain Lion the process should be almost identical. You must make sure that your computer is connected to the internet for this entire process. If you've purchased an SPSS disk, insert it in your Mac drive now. If you downloaded the software from onthehub.com, you should see this disk installer icon after you've followed the instructions for downloading SPSS from their site. Double click the SPSS statistics installer icon to start. Enter the password for installing software on your computer, then click OK. The first screen lets you select the language for installation. Click OK to continue. On the introduction page, click Next. On this screen, ensure that the Single User License button is selected, then click Next. At the Software License screen, click the I accept the Terms in the License Agreement radio button, then click Next. On this screen you can enter your name if you wish, then click Next. English language support is installed by default. If you wish to install more language support, please do so here, then click Next. Here you can change the installation folder. We recommend leaving it at the default setting, then click Next. This page shows an installation summary. Click the Install button to start the installation. This will take some time as it is a big installation and we've sped up the process for this demonstration. SPSS is now installed on your computer. Click the Done button to start the licensing wizard. Make sure that the License My Product Now radio button is selected, then click Next to continue. You're now prompted to enter the license code you will have received as part of your software purchase. If you purchased SPSS from onthehub.com, you will receive an email with a link to your account which will have the license codes. If you purchased an installation disk, the codes are provided in the packaging. It is critical that you enter the code exactly as it appears, ensuring that there are no extra spaces before or after the code. If you receive the code electronically, we recommend that you copy and paste the code. Once the code has been entered, click Next to continue. If all goes well, you should see the message stating that all the codes were successfully processed. Click Next to continue. This screen details how long SPSS is licensed for. You may not see this many products, but you should see the IBM SPSS statistics feature in the list. When you're ready, click Finish to complete the licensing wizard. You can close the installer window, eject the SPSS installation disk by dragging it to the trash. Open your hard disk icon and navigate to the Applications folder. You will see the IBM folder, then the SPSS folder, Statistics, then 21. Inside this folder you will see the SPSS Statistics icon. Double-click it to start the application. On this screen, click on the Use Unicode Encoding button. Now you're prompted to create or open a file. Please remember that SPSS does not come with any data files for STA-102. You must download these from the STA-102 Blackboard Unit website. Now that we're satisfied that SPSS is working, we can quit the application.
Finally, we can place the SPSS icon in the dock so that we don't have to find it each time to open it. Simply drag the SPSS statistics icon down to the dock and when you're happy with its location, let go and it will be there permanently. We hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.